Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lights here, we're back again with another video and I want to talk a little bit about Baidao, of course. I was actually thinking, uh, when do you ever see, you know, this much hype built up around a project just before it gets on Uniswap? How many projects do you know have partnerships with Chainlink, uh, Tron and so on? We know the partnerships, right? All those partnerships uh, before a Uniswap listing as well, I mean, especially in the ICO phase, um, these partnerships are obtained. I mean, I expect some fireworks when this gets on Uniswap. I mean, if you look at most projects on Uniswap, a lot of them moon, right? They, they moon and then um, people take profits. You know, that's normal. That's standard. That's going to happen. Okay. But there's still a lot of people that are willing to hold by doubt. Okay. Um, I'm the type of person that, you know, um, you know, if I see, you know, massive gains, you know, it's hard for me to hold through that. But um, if I was to take profits at, at the top, for example, you know, if I was that lucky, I'd be looking to buy more by doubt after it dumps. If that is the case all right guys but well, hopefully you know by doubt we'll just continue up but let's just be realistic okay uh prices pump and then they dump all right especially after ico so um there's a possibility that that will happen all right one of the good things is that uh by doubt is creating liquidity um or they're putting 300k into the market for liquidity so that you can trade you can buy and you can sell they understand that people are going to be buying and people are going to be selling okay so that's why they're providing liquidity to the market uh, a few people had some questions about where the staking rewards come from. Does that increase the total supply and so on? Okay. Now, in regards to uh, the ICO, all right, the, the ICO didn't sell out as far as I'm aware. Okay. There was a message from Long Zhang um, in the Telegram group, and he actually said that uh, Baidao didn't sell out. Um, I'll put a picture of the uh, the, the announcement or, or you know the the, the message on the screen but he said uh I'll, I'll basically just read it okay so uh uh in Baidao, um didn't sell out we just got enough funds for the project to run at least in the future five to ten years if we spend the funds in a well-managed saving and most efficient way so in that case we just simply don't want to continue the rco simply for receiving more money all the unsold tokens will be burned we rather burn them instead of using them simply to collect more more money so basically that's that's what you're saying you know um they didn't want to just keep the ico open just to you know rake in more funds okay they've got enough funds they've made enough i guess they've achieved their milestones what they wanted to achieve in in terms of funding um and they are actually able to to run uh, the buy that project for at least the next five to ten years so it's not just going to disappear they're not going to run out of money um it's it's obvious to us that um when we've seen uh, some of the videos coming out on Baidao, for example, from the Baidao team, from Bastion um, and things like that. we it, it doesn't look like they're just taking money and just wasting it. Um, a very minimalistic sort of setting in the background and stuff like that. And uh, the money for this project is going into the project, okay? It's not going on Lamborghinis. It's not going on things like that, okay? Uh, at least not by the looks of it. Obviously, we know that the CTO, Brian, he's a businessman and he's very very driven in regards to building the business building the brand okay and um uh, bastion uh, i mean I, I think he'll be quite happy if he was in one room alone um the size of a prison cell as long as he had a computer and a computer uh, a computer screen and uh something to code <laughs> all right so the staking is to my understanding um and i can't find the message so i can't put it on the screen for you but the the staking rewards are generated through new tokens being minted um, based on the coins that you stake okay so there are uh, new buy dow tokens that will be created just for the purpose of staking okay and those are where your rewards are coming from obviously at the same time uh, tokens are being burned okay so the maximum supply of buy dow can increase based on the staking that that's that's what i understand from that one thing that we're banking on is a lot of money coming in through by dow and um, obviously with the partnerships that they've got um, for generating the stable coin there's going to be a lot of need for the governance token as well we know that they're looking to be an erc20 and um, ethereum polkadot and binance chain bridge a token bridge okay 
um, all the technical language and all that stuff that comes through uh, with it i am learning every day still with that all right guys but by now just looks like a good project you know a lot of people will i, I think personally think a lot of people are going to fomo into this okay a lot of people missed out on a token sale that will want to get into it and um yeah when it gets on uniswap i can expect a, a very large price increase from it okay so you have to keep close eyes on it um, if you really want to, um, if you really, really want to sell your buy doubt, probably best to wait. Um, I mean, if it did get on something like, um, you know, Binance or something like that first, it's highly probable that the, the coin would just drop. Okay. Um, and, and then obviously it would recover. But when it, when it gets on something like Uniswap, I think it's more probable that you will see just a mad price increase. All right. But don't quote me on that. At the end of the day, I could be wrong. But um, let's wait and see how it plays out. Buy down for me is a great project, okay? And it's definitely got a long-term future. When Long Zhang is talking about, um, you know, the funds uh, have been there to manage the project for at least five to ten years, okay? Um, I mean, that just sums it up. They've got a long-term vision on this. It's not a pump and dump. They're not just trying to get your money out of you also, okay? So bear that in mind with buy down. Um, they are aiming to achieve something and I think that they will be successful in doing it. Alright guys, so that's all that I've got to say to you about that for the time being. Okay, subscribe, like, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you would like to support the channel, there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself. We have a new clothing brand called Parabolic. This is a brand dedicated to the crypto space. I use the name Parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts. Now there's a range of products you can choose from, from hoodies, vests, socks, even face masks during this pandemic time and we're using a lightsaber to represent the YouTube channel. Okay, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Got a range of different colors, range of different products, all right? And what I'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something, if you send me a message, what I'll do is I'll send you a free invite for the new Telegram group, which will be a paid Telegram group, okay, after that. Okay, so the first 100 people, you will get a invite sent to you for free. All right, even if you buy something as small as a mug, you will get that just to show my appreciation for your support as well. Okay, guys, so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group. You've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise. So link in the description, get on over to the website and make your purchase now. Remember, the trend is your friend.